this is a uh, strange deck, I suppose. So the baseline is a Shakoman deck using a lot of the BT16 cards and some promos and stuff. But our top end is Kanjimon here. This was really, really good in the BT15 pre-release. And the way it works, if you're not familiar with it, is by ending your turn, um, giving your opponent four or more memory, it'll delete their lowest DP Digimon. And if they end their turn by giving you four or less memory, it'll delete their highest cost. So we want to trigger the end of your turn effect. And because we have DP minus from Submarine Mon and Chimera Mon, as well as the Source Strip from Submarine Mon and the Magnamon, we do have a somewhat reasonable time getting rid of their low end pieces. And Kanjimon here is just real nice. Um, I was running Edamon here because there were a lot of instances where like you'd be on three memory from a tie or whatever, and you could, you know, give something minus three KDP, force something to attack, which is actually kind of relevant because you will have a blocker source under this thanks to the Upamon. And then um you know they're on four, so you get like potentially a delete off of the Edamon, a delete off of this, and then you force your opponent to swing with something, which could be an ace card, which you know could force them into an awkward position, right? Like, do they want to you know pop their memory boost and gain some memory to try and adjust the total memory they're going to spend to you know out this thing, out your board, or whatever, or are they going to like try something else? Another thing is just the fact that Shaco Bomb becomes unaffected for the turn when you go into it. You Digivolve this on top of it, and this is unaffected. People will still try to, like, remove this with Digimon effects instead of using option cards. And I'm also just kind of leveraging the fact that a lot of decks in this game don't run options like talking about. Like, they don't run removal and stuff. Uh, because that would be one of the few things that could get rid of this at that point. And even if they are running options, we get to partition, so sometimes we'll be spitting out and Kilimon and stopping their stuff from swinging. Sometimes we'll be spitting out Magnas and having some blocker. Uh, this thing is just kind of here, though. So I don't really like having this in sources, but it's really, really cheap because of the Armadillamon, so, you know. Uh, it would make sense to run another Armadillamon in this slot, but I like the Pata because that way... This and this don't get stuck in security necessarily. Uh, same thing goes for Chocolamon. So we'll be playing around with this. This is just kind of like an amalgamation. It's a mess. It's goofy. But I wanted to showcase it. Now, there was actually an interesting deck I ran into a few minutes ago that I hope we can run into again. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, and Chimera is also really nice because it shoves another source from trash. So, like... At most, you'll have, like, three colors here, but it lets you, like, shove in your partition level 5 to still get partition while you have this. So... I mean, that's valid, because that'll actually, like, screw us up. So... I just play this for three. And one... I feel like I should grab this. I mean, they have Sorai, so I might as well like try to play around it for the moment. Getting my Shaco stripped is kind of stupid. You know? Especially when I don't have more fours in hand to like potentially make use of the Chimera. Wouldn't... Like, it would stop me from swinging, but that's it. It's like, okay, I lose blocker, but so what? You know? I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna digivolve for zero. I'm gonna Magnum. And we gain two. So if it purges, you know. I can simply 
do it again. I mean, I could just do it over here, but whatever, dude. We are just using armors. We will... DNA. So if they promote up and try to interact with the body, it won't do anything. Uh, we won't have blocker though, which does kind of suck. This isn't going to do anything. And then, yeah. So, I mean, we passed them to four when I, like, realistically shouldn't have, but whatever, dude. And now we're set up to do it again and still shove the partition. Or, like, we do it normally or shove the partition. Either way. Normally we get the protection. This way we give DP minus. Whatever works. Fair and valid. Or something like that. I mean, fair? Wait, why didn't you go to the other one? Hmm. What will they hit? Nothing in my security is that big. Not that they know that, so that's fair. Was that the level 5 inheritable, right? Yeah. You fool. I don't want to attack. How dare you disrespect me like this. Now give me five memory. Or explode. Goodbye. We'll slap down that Patamon and see what's inside our security because, uh, yeah. Plus one memory. Yo, that's crazy. Okay. Magna actually in security? Magnamon real? So if I even want a pata, that's for three. Uh, I'll gain one since there's no reason using it later. I'll do this. What is the inheritable on the Pedamon? Okay. I will then... Chimera... Just because I want to shove another Pedamon in my sources. Hell yeah, brother. Yo, wait, I forgot about that. Uh, actually, no, fuck it. Let's get, let's get extra big. Let's get extra big. This is so goofy, dude. What? What are you removing? Are you just removing the fours? That's so funny. Like, that's actually hilarious, dude. Like, bro? Like, I'm just playing these out, right? Because, like... <laughs> I don't get it, bro. I don't understand. Black, yellow, right? 
Now, I can just make this Chimeramon be big by shoving Magna for the blue. Or I could, like, shove the Shaco for Partition, right? So we're just going to shove the Shaco. Because, like, why not? Can they please use these training cards, my guy? Like, let's go. Let's go gambling. Just so you know, like... I don't care if I lose this game. The only thing I want is... For them to swing into my security and hit the Magnamon that I saw is inside of it. That is all I want right now, bro. Yes, please put that back to my hand. Let me remake it with the Chimera again. I like how they just like like it's reasonable to get rid of that. Like I, I I'm not saying that that was the wrong decision, it, but this thing is just sitting here and it's like 15k on my turn. Come on, go to all force. So they have okay. There you go. They had well. I mean, they already had four, so they could have bounced the seven, right? But they'll send this back, and that's fine. The thing is, both of the I think I think both of the memory armadillos should go back to my hand at the start of my turn. But like, bro, please check my security. I I just need you to hit the Magnamon. Let's go. Let let let's go. Let's go gambling. Let's go gambling. Let's go gambling. Yes. Brother. Oh, wait. Sorry. Yes. 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 We are in business. They need to pass me to five memory, or this is gonna die. <laughs> if they put me to any, any, if they put me to four, <laughs> oh boy, that is not actually helping you. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure there's a level 4 in my security. Yeah. There's another Magnamon in there. What? Yo. Oh, okay. So the Potamon I used previously healed a second Magnamon into my security. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, we can actually keep this. Evo Pata in the back. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use the trainings immediately, but we can slap tie down, so that's okay. Also, one thing that's really nice about this card is, like, sometimes you can just hard play it. Because you'll just trigger the effect. It is, it's like a, <laughs> admittedly, like, over-costed removal spell, you know? Okay. And I say that into one of the matchups where you might want to do that. Just, just to <laughs> every Greymon matchup I've played today, the first X antibody they see has always been the virus one. What, what can I say? What can I say, bro? I just didn't think it would be that bad. I, I, th I thought I'd see like an Enkilamon or something off the top. They can digivolve for less. How will they set up though? Oh, they just went for the three. You should have hit the setter.
literally like everything I'm mentioning, I'm just immediately getting an opportunity to like put into practice. I love not being devolvable. Okay, so this is this is funny. This is very funny because you're forced to strip two. Right? And I'm not even going to attempt to play the game normally since I don't have pieces to do that. I am simply going to do it again. Deal with two of them. Goodbye. I'm also going to assume they're only running two of these because I usually see lists with Gaio like run two, two, two splits. I mean, sure. And they did good dodging the deletion this time. What is in my security, brother? Wonderful. I love that for me. I play Pata. We go to four. We... Wait, I say play pot, I meant play armadillo. We activate this. And Evo U to Magna. Activate this. And kill him on. I don't really want to do this, but these what it is. So this is potentially two blockers. Because we'll have blocker from the inheritable on the opponent's turn, and then if this partitions, we'll have that as well. I'll just toss you down. It is not worth the effort. I mean, they technically still have a memory, but like, they don't have a body they can move out, so. This might be okay. Well, oh, okay, so they do actually have a third black war gray. I mean, but I don't really care if you delete my tamer again, dude. I mean, they're gonna go to three either way. I probably should Evo this in raising, but. I just wanna protect this. So, I'll just slap this down. Like, giving them four is also stupid, since they don't have anything out, but I have two blockers, so I have to rely on that. I mean, not swinging. Popping, or... Yeah, no, just deletion-based removal. See, I don't know why you keep doing that. Like, I mean, objectively, I feel like that might be the correct thing to do. But... If I keep going back to three and I can make plays that are like really annoying for you, what is the point? And for that, you know, does this reboot? Yeah, it does. Brother, what is under this? Oh, uh, yeah. 
Like, what, 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 do you, what do you think I'm... Oh, it's a good thing I did that. I mean, the DPU doesn't matter. Because I'm purging, but... You don't even have the X antibody thing shoved, so like... Excuse me? Wait, no, this is dumb. I should just let this hit. Oh wait, no, they're gonna try and swing at the... <laughs> oh, bro, no, that is literally why I have these here. Like, dude. Does this even have... Yeah, it has the... It can remove... Can it remove anything else? It has a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, and another 5. Yeah, so... Well, technically it has three fives. But it can only protect one more time. So, like... Bro, wait. This is 14. Can I get bigger than this? If I, if I draw a 4, I can get bigger than this. Okay, so... I do this, right? We Evo and we do it for minus one memory, basically. As if that really matters. Okay, then we Evo this back here. I need another four. Hmm. It can't swing at me, which is the important bit. Yeah, I'll just do this. It's still stupid of me, but like... We force it to strip once at least. It can't swing. So the only way they'd be able to finish the game is by getting a rush body. Which this deck should not have. And regardless of what they do, well, not regardless of what they do, but like they'd specifically have to out this with a Hades Force or something to uh, stop their Omnimon from exploding. And I'd still have five swings to potentially like clear them with it's all the time. Coming back to the list here, as you can see, the deck does have some inconsistencies, but it's entirely possible to adjust your gameplay to your circumstances. You may want to adjust the list for your own liking, maybe, you know, taking out the Magnumon, swapping the Patamon for an Armadillomon, swapping these for, you know, more Shockomons and a yellow Toppin, whatever works for you. But uh, I think the list is pretty cool, and I hope that y'all liked it. Later.